The following is a Samsung Galaxy A30s and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen on this device. So before we begin there's a couple of little need, which is one is this tool too, so you can eject the SIM tray and then another one is a SIM card with a PIN number on it or PIN code. And from there I want to connect to network and just have it open as I have right now. So once that's ready you want to have the tray right now not inserted all the way and I'm gonna describe it really quickly what we're gonna do and uh, I'm gonna show it because it's not necessarily the easiest way uh, but I'm gonna put in the sim card fully I'm gonna count to four press next and once I see the screen for inserting the pin code I'm gonna eject the card it will give me an error I'm gonna press on ok then lock uh, over here then settings will come down and you want to press on the, set the gear icon for the settings and that will basically make it so the uh, notification panel doesn't go up. So it might sound a little bit confusing, but hopefully once I do it, it will be uh, clear what I'm doing. So I'm gonna take the phone in the hand. Uh, it's way easier for me to do it this way. Um, also try not to press any power buttons. Okay, so as you can see, I'm holding my thumb on the, uh, the pen there so I can eject quickly the tray. So I push it in one, Two, three, four. Next, eject and fail at it for some reason. Eject, okay. And that didn't work. So let's try it again. Okay, so back in here, again, uh, put in the tray. One, two, three, four. Next, eject, okay. Lock and almost. So you see, I wanted to press the settings. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four. Okay, and there we go. And it stays. So, as you've seen, once you press OK, you have a little lock over here. So you want to press that, it pulls down the notification panel, and then you want to quickly tap on the settings right here. Otherwise, if you don't do it quick enough, the, the panel will just go back up and disappear and you'll have this screen that is grayed out in the back. So, once you get this, what you want to do now is tap on notification settings, see all. And we're going to tap on the drop down here and show all. And from here, scroll all the way down to YouTube, tap on it. We want to go down and up notification settings. Then we're gonna go in history and privacy, YouTube terms of service, and we're now in the browser. So right here, just accept and continue, and we don't wanna log in, so no thanks. And there we go, that's the browser. So tap on the search field, and we're gonna navigate into hardreset.info. like so let's go and once it loads you want to tap on the three bars right here and go into the download section and then the download search field you want to search for android 8. like so let's go and there we go this is the app that we're looking for so frp bypass tap on download scroll down and tap on the green download right here and yep continue allow and okay and it will start the download it should finish fairly quickly there we go now it's finished now <coughs> uh, if you see the okay and uh, it's downloaded as you can see right here you just press open and disregard what i'm gonna say right now because this will be for the people that it for some reason didn't want to download so there are the cases where download actually doesn't ever finish and when you go into the download section uh, the file will say that it's a hundred percent and it never wants to finish so just tap on the three dots and then you can tap on cancel download uh, or delete as i just did um, and back in here where you have the download button instead of tapping on it as you would normally do you want to hold it and open it up in the new incognito tab and from there tap on ok and it will download then no problem and as you can see there it is so let's just open it 
and let's go into the settings so we can allow this so allow from this source go back and install and from here open and now as you can see we're in the app so you want to tap on google account manager apk install and choose for version 6.0 and again, same process settings, allow from this source and go back and install. And once it's finished installing, click on done and we'll go back to the app from where you want to now press on the other button, which is bypass FRP and browser sign in and tap on that three dots. And again, tap on browser sign in, confirm it. And we're now in the Google login page. So. Here you want to use your Google account to log in. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create it. Um, now you have the button to create it right here, but I would advise it uh, to advise to do it on a computer rather than on a phone. So yeah. So once you have the account, just tap on here and use it to log in. And as you can see, I have my own, so I'm gonna use that one. And I'm gonna put in a password for it. Oh, um, I actually put in the email incorrectly. <laughs> Give me a moment. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Couldn't log in because I messed up the email. There we go. And now I can. And there we go and now it's logging in and once it's logged in it will take us back to the app so all you need to do now is hold the power key and select restart now once the device boots back up we will be able to progress to the setup screen and the moment we hit the page where you'd normally have to confirm your previous account will now show that account added and it will provide the information for the account that we have just basically added and from there we can finish the setup of the device and what we'll then want to go into the settings and perform a additional factory wipe of the device that will remove this account plus the previous account that was blocking the device before and thus also fully unlock it so i just Go on, next. So you want to primarily skip through most of this. It doesn't really matter what we choose right now. We just want to gain access to the home screen as quick as possible. And you can see right there, account added, and that's the account that I have provided right before I rebooted the device. So just tap on next. Don't restore. Not now, we don't want any passcodes at the moment. Next, next, accept. Okay. Let's skip this, skip, and finish. No thanks, and there we go. So we're now on the home screen. So from here, where I want to go into the settings, scroll all the way down into 
Or is it gonna be... Advanced features, maybe? I'm not really sure. Where do you reset in here? Whoops. Is it somewhere in here? Looks like not. General management, I think that's where it is. Yeah. So, go into the settings and general management and reset. And choose factory data reset. It gives you a list of everything that we remove along with the account that we have added, but it also removes the other account as well, which isn't provided right here. So, tap on reset, delete all, and let the process begin. And once it's finished, we can then set up our device as however we want. The device at that point will be fully unlocked. So I'll be back once the reset has been finished. And as you can see, now the process is finished and you can set up your device as however you like. Now, I'm gonna go to the setup process fairly quickly again, just skipping most of the things I can to save on time. But you can set it up as however you like. Now the first thing you'll see uh, when the device is unlocked is the fact that it can actually skip the Wi-Fi connection, which I'm gonna do. And from there let's tap on next. Or accept. And not now, skip anyway. And we're finished. And now the device is fully unlocked. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.